Recently, I noticed some discussions about spiritual terminology and definitions. What is the true meaning of the word enlightenment? What's the difference between enlightenment, awakening, self-realization, and moksha? Are they different levels of the same thing? Would you say the absolute, or all there is, is Brahman? Or would you say it's the self? But these are just spiritual terms, not the thing in itself. And this message is about releasing our dependency on words and labels, as if getting these right would provide the key to liberation. The only thing that's all there is, is all there is. And it's not a thing. It's nothing and everything simultaneously. The mind can never get that because it thinks it's a something. And something can never comprehend nothing. All names are just an attempt to make it into a knowable, understandable thing for the mind, which, because it's convinced it's a separate thing, and everything and everyone else are other separate things, if it can just know about all those things, define them, and understand them, it can assure its own survival and spiritual perfection. But there is no one. There's only what is, what's happening, to no one. So there is no one who awakens, no one to achieve self-realization or enlightenment, and no possible names for the absolute or all there is. Brahman, self, self-realization, and enlightenment are all just names somebody invented. Conceptual labels, subject to countless interpretations. Any label or word that is subject to interpretation is still in the dream, not the actual reality. Just nice words that may point to reality, but are not the reality. If you don't know English, and I point to the moon and say, that's called the sun, would you know the difference? Would it all of a sudden stop looking like the moon to you and look like the sun? The same is true of all scriptural references and revered passages. There's nothing wrong with hearing Buddha's anatta, that no permanent, unchanging personal self exists. Or Shankaracharya's beautiful couplet, the world is illusion. Only Brahman is real. The world is Brahman. But understanding those, even having deep spiritual clarity about those, is not the same thing as being anatta or Brahman. So if you noticed you are attached to specific definitions, descriptions, or passages of words, no matter how lofty or revered, used over centuries as futile attempts to enclose the ineffable. Just let go of all such labels and distinctions. I most often like being, or simply the natural reality, to represent all there is. Because the terms Brahman, self, awakening, and enlightenment all have a lot of baggage and interpretations connected to them. But it's very difficult to attach anything to being. Being is just being. But even being is just another term that completely dissolves when you are actually in being. Release all those words and concepts 
and just be. Be in what Srinasargadatta had yet another clever term to refer to, the noumenon, the thing in itself. Let go of the mind's self-deceiving preoccupation with this belief that knowing leads to freedom. It's just the opposite. Be willing to be in the unknowing, where there's just what's happening. No phantom me mind trying to predict it, control it, name it, or define it. In all there is, there's just what's happening. No one it's happening to. And there just isn't a word for that. See you next time.